Hello everybody, it's me, your favorite Draft Factory, and I'm playing Banished. And I'm getting this... We're getting this set up again, right? Getting set up again. So, apparently every... I, so I, I thought about it, right? And it's about every 45 years that something truly bad just happens. And I don't know why, it just... I think it's a coincidence, but at the same time, it could be something. It could be something, who knows? Hey, now we need fishermen. That's awesome. Could be a coincidence. Is probably a coincidence, but at the same time, <coughs> same time, just keeps happening. So, you know. And I don't know what's up. I just always have, just always have a problem talking in the morning, I guess. I don't know what's up. Oh, what do we get? Established. That's the one. That's, that's the one I was talking about, where you get, uh... I guess it must have been citizens total. It's, uh, have 300 citizens at year 100. We are established. Oh, someone drowned. That's not cool. How did you drown? I guess working on the dock? I don't get it. That's messed up. So, after a couple of years, we'll see how they help us, if they help us. What do you got? Cattle and sheep? No one likes you. Stop bringing that shit to me. There are people who are hungry. There's always, like, one hungry dude. Like, I don't get it. I don't know why. Okay, you actually have everything you need. You seem to be a little, a little bit slower on the draw. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. You just, you just need you to walk faster. Maybe this helps. Maybe this will help. And what else helps? Not much, actually. Oh, maybe he's within the range of a market, and so he gets help. I, I bet you he gets help from the vendors. Or at least he can go straight to the market and grab it. Whereas this guy has to walk all the way down to this market, maybe? Not sure. Not sure. I don't know. We'll find out one day, though. <clears throat> one day. One day. Valaya the Forester died during childbirth. Oh, computer. Computer, don't bonk at me. I've, it's been so many episodes without you bonking at me. Can't believe you're bonking at me now. For real? For real? For real. Sorry. This, this is always the most, most entertaining part of the episode, I know. Um... Yes. Yep. Thank you, computer. Don't bonk at me ever again. Go away. Luckily, I have fixed a lot of the issues with my computer. Unluckily, I have not fixed all of them. So, sorry about that. But we're here. We're still here. Playing Banish. What do you got? You got nothing. Jeez. Whatever. It's fine. Oh, look. Now you're full. That's pretty good. Whoa. Only 200 wool in there. So what? That's a blacksmith. Uh, what do we need here? Hey, our education's going up. That's good. What's our... I want to see our inventory, see how our wool is doing. Still got plenty of wool. Not a big deal. Okay. Warm coats. Could do more warm coats. Um, I think we have two tailors already, though. I don't know if we actually need a third tailor, to be honest. Although we could stop trading. Um, could stop trading wool down here. Maybe stop trading wool over here. Figure something else out to trade. Uh, no, we don't need to do steel tools. In fact, we probably shouldn't do steel tools in general because... Well, wait. We have a hundred here and we keep using that, right? So, well, we shouldn't use it up here. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We just won't use it up here. What can we trade up here? What even trades for materials. I guess coats do, but we don't need to create coats. We shouldn't create more coats. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Man, how's that? Why is that number dropping? Stop dropping. Stop dropping roll. Let's see. Everything looks good. Harvests are actually coming along nicely. We have enough people to put that farmers up 
could just go all the way super farmer, then have every farm producing maximum. I think we'll do that. Because we are on the rise again, but that may not stay for long. Just not sure how often to build houses, really. This market. This market has a lot of range to work with. Let's get... Let's get some more houses around this market, shall we? Ah, dang it. Always moving the camera. You can reach all the way over here. So... <clears throat> some houses by the cemetery. Morbid, weird, the best. I'm gonna go with the best. Some Adams family shit over here. Little two houses right there. That'll be plenty for right now. And what else? <laughs> I like these little houses just over in the middle of nowhere. And that's what we want to do with this spot too, I think. Just put some houses up here, you know, like whatever. Maybe one day they'll figure out how to live next to their jobs, you know? That'd be it'd be nice if they could do that. Do it like that. That's plenty of houses this episode, I think. What do you got? Iron coal stone. Wow, you sell coal in higher numbers, don't you? And we are running low on coal. I don't know. We'll see how that works. We'll see if it, uh... I do wonder if 300's enough. Because, like, both of them have a chance to get coal. So, we'll just see. We're not we're not low on coal yet. So, that's, that's alright. We're not truly low. Iron mine will just be in business forever, I guess. Until we finally deplete it. Same. Oh, quarry's almost done. And then we're done with this quarry forever. And the mine. The coal mine. Coal mine, I guess I'm fine with leaving there for basically ever. That's fine with me. Uh, this quarry... We should probably put the stone limit up to like a thousand. Just to... Oh, what do we get? Foodie! I wonder what that one is. I think that might be have all the foods for several years or something. Because I'm pretty sure we've got one of everything growing. We should make a we should make a memorial district where we build where we have one of every sort of food growing at the same time. That'd be kind of cool. I'd like that actually. That'd be pretty cool. What else do we need though? Do we need anything really? Ugh, cattle. Who die? Starvation? Are you serious? Knock it off. Alright, I like this number. I like that the uh, baby number is staying high. I don't like that our food is not actually uh, staying around the limit. It means we're dropping a little bit. And I'd rather not deal with another starvation event. So... Might build another... Might try to build some kind of other thing, like another pasture somewhere? I could put a pasture right here. Right? Oh, and that bridge that I had to build to make sure people didn't get stuck back there and become magically homeless. Ridiculous. What's up? Nomads! What's up, nomads? How many nomads? Oh my god. Are you ready for the first huge nomad infusion that we've had? I mean, if we do this, what do we even, where are we even going to put them? Where are we going to put them? How are we going to grow enough food for them all? We're doing it. It's time to, uh, it's time to add stuff. Time to add stuff everywhere. Time to build all the things, everybody. Get ready. Hold on to your socks. Oh, and rotating everything. Fantastic. Alright, it's time to build, 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 baby. Three houses. We've got two boarding houses, so that should be enough for everybody. Um, where else can we put a house? We can put a house over here. Beautiful. Put some houses down here. Yeah. And tuck them in the in in uh, this corner. <laughs> in. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's build some stone pads. Boop. And look at that. And 
that okay yeah we've got we have enough uh got the stone for it we've got the stones for it <laughs> are you gonna no you're not a guy you're not the guy coal we might need to buy more coal than that I'm not sure how much can we afford coal I think was worth five or maybe six might be worth six oh well never mind we have slightly more pressing issues right now. So let's put in a house back here too, I think, because there's enough room for it, right? Oh, dang camera. Put him right there. And right there. Yes, it is an awkward setup. Oh, that one didn't get placed. That's fine. Oh, dang camera. Let's, come on, camera. Let's do this. Work with me here. All right, get some Adams Family houses over here. Put one. Oh, this line is kind of long, actually. Yeah. Um, not one right there. Build a path here, and instead of one in the middle there too, I'm also I'm gonna reserve that as a road to go down to the next. Like if I have to build more down here. Although they're out of they're out of a zone, aren't they? No, no, they're in that zone. Cool. Okay, and then where else can we put some houses? We're gonna need to put up put up a couple of more fields, I think, as well. Uh, just because we are now we are probably now pushing the uh, pushing the limits of our fields with this many people, almost for sure. And we'll have this one facing the orchard instead of facing the market. Can this fit in here? Yes, it can. How many? Just one. Okay. There. And I think we'll pave this area. Uh, like that. Two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Boop. There, now that whole area is paved. Developing. <laughs> Call that development. Okay. How do we... What the fuck? So wait, you can like, you can for real build like everything but that one square? Yep, sure can. Cool. <laughs> okay, uh, let everyone run. Okay, only 32 homeless people. Fantastic. Well, time to put some builders on. Why don't you get all 34? You get all 34, because look at all those people. Alright, 34 builders. What else? Can we put in some vendors that will ease some stuff, I think? I think, uh, what we, we had, we've got six, so that's six. Yeah, so now we've got, uh, four for everyone, right? That's math, right? Okay. I still have 39 laborers. That's a good thing. Um, actually, I'm going to drop this down to 18 and go with more farms. Farms, yeah. Put those people in farms instead. So, food production, crop field, and let's stick some farms down in these new developments, right? Uh, what else could we put in here? Mm, yeah, we'll just do farms first. What is this area? Is this a hill or something? What is this area? It's, it's just nothing. Okay, that's good. Means we can actually fit something here. Oh, a little miniature crop field back here. Nah, I think that's a waste of a farmer. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny though. A little tiny, tiny crop field. That's a hill, unfortunately. Let's have a field. We could have a field right next to this, uh, next to this place. We can have a behind these houses. Let's put it behind these houses. 12 by 12. 12 by 12 sounds legit. 15 by 12. We'll just do 12 by... no. Oh, we might as well make it, uh, make it a large size. I think 15 by 15 is the largest size. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's one field. That's a couple of people, right? We've got 339 adults. Look at all those children. That's way too many children to take care of easily. 
put in a field back in here, I think. I think we took a field out of here, but we'll make it 10 by 14. Didn't we build another pasture somewhere? <laughs> I can't even remember. I could have sworn I built another pasture somewhere, though, right? Didn't I? The world may never know. Where can we build something? I mean, I'll build another pasture. Let's build another pasture. We build another pasture and split... Which, uh, which resource do we have the least of in terms of... Uh, let's see. Leather, only 412. Wool, 2,000. <laughs> okay. So we need more cows. We need more cows. I think the sheep just produce so much, so much uh, wool, it's not even fair. We'll put it in here, yeah? A little cow farm in here. 11 by 11. Good size. With 10 by 10 inside. Let's see. Let's run that. And let's see what's up with the housing situation. So both of our boarding houses are full. That's amazing. And we are going to build houses, right? Build houses. Build houses all day. How many houses did I add? Probably not enough, actually, for that amount of people. Oh, can't fit a house in there? Dang. Oops. Dang it. Dang it. Keep moving my stuff. Okay. Let's put one here and here. And then this area can also be houses, I think. It'll be all right. You're a, you're a wheat ale tavern. That's good. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we looks like we built a couple of them. Boom. I wonder if nomads come in educated. I don't think so. I think nomads show up uneducated. Given that that just that drove our percentage down to the 70s. That's in church. All right. uh, yeah, it drove it down to the 70s, and we've been maintaining over 80 usually when we've when we've had a few years to stay alive. Let's see. I think that'll be plenty of houses. And in fact, I'm afraid of the food, but we can trade for food, which is great actually. This should work out. This ought to work out. I hope this works out. <laughs> God, I hope this works. Only eight homeless now. We have, yeah, we have, in fact, we built too many houses. But I'm not going to go and unbuild them, so I don't care. We're just going to deal with it. You can have fucking 20 people. And we'll, that'll be fine. Uh, what else do we need, though? We want... Then what do we want? How do we... We need more cows, right? We built that pasture somewhere over here. I think we built it over here. Is that it? No, that's a crop field. Maybe I... Oh, I built it over in the... in the west end of the historical district. Here? Yeah. What's up? And... nothing, really. I don't think I need to buy any of this. Maybe buy... I might buy food. I'll, I, I'm actually gonna buy food. No, well wait, we don't have enough to really trade for food. Hold on. What if we traded 500 firewood? Be 2,000, right? Yeah, okay. So let's buy 2,000 pecans. 2,000, yeah. Trade. See you later. Okay, so that's... I think we, we might be okay with food. Not sure. Not really sure about that. I guess we're about to find out, huh? Autumn. All the crops are coming in. We're only that high. Ooh, that's not a good thing. Come on. Yes, beautiful. Okay, and we'll make this one squash. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. And next year that'll bring in some more food. Um could add more gatherers. Is there only one gatherer in this area? We could add a second gatherer. A fire! No! This is our first fire! This is our first... This is what I call a real disaster. This messed up. Okay. Everyone get, get to business. Oh, please. Please put it out. Put it out with your wells. I gave you wells for a reason. There's a well right there. Help! Do I have to do something? Like, are you doing anything? Putting out the fire, or 
I don't see anybody like getting well water. No. No. What? What? <laughs> um. What? <laughs> Why aren't you people putting out the, the stuff with the wells? Put it out with the wells. No. Rebuild that. Hold on. What's our builder situation? We'll leave it we'll leave eight on because this is gonna need to be rebuilt in a minute. Why aren't you people responding to the fires? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Slow down. Still gonna let it go because it's more fun to watch the animation. But we need to read about fires, disasters, sickness, tornadoes, fires. Fires may break out in the town from time to time. If a fire does break out, citizens will carry water from the nearest source to reduce the time the fire burns and hopefully keep it from spreading to nearby buildings. In areas far away from rivers, streams, and lakes, wells can be built as a water source to put out fires quickly. If a building is damaged by a fire or tornado, you can decide to rebuild or tear down the building rebuild it building take uh -huh. hmm. so basically so basically uh, we just have to wait for the fire to stop burning everyone down I guess <laughs> it's ridiculous um, can I split another... Oh, we don't have a herdsman over there? That's ridiculous. Come on now. Come on. I need to split some of these into other places. Whoa, phone bonking at me. Um, okay, we need herdsmen. And we need firefighters. <laughs> I wish there was... I mean, we've got 83 laborers. I'm amazed that these fires are actually going on. Come on, put them out. Put out the fires. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to wait until the fires go out and then hope hope that we can hope that we can fix this. Like you're right next to a well. Like I don't see people putting out the fires. Okay, they're all done. That was a very bad thing. <laughs> but it's our first fire. First fire taken care of though. I mean, look at that. Look at that devastation. Look at that. It's all messed up. We're gonna need some builders to rebuild all that. That's for sure. Luckily, we should survive since it didn't take out any crop fields or anything like that. We should be safe. Ah, oh, you got a lot of coal in there. Uh, it takes seven coal now. Or seven to purchase coal. Um. We're just gonna go with the same 300. Start with 300 coal. And... Someday soon, we might increase the number of firewood choppers we have. But for now, we're okay. I can't believe we got a fire, though. That's cool. It's the first, like, real disaster we've had. I mean, I guess we've had, like, sickness and stuff, but... This is a true disaster, you know? Where... It, like things are actually messed up. Things things actually are. Uh... What are you? You're a woodcutter. Oh well, yeah, that explains why you don't have a job. Um, things actually get hurt, and you can't do anything about it. You know, like you can build wells and hope that there's hope that you still have uh... hope that you can still stay alive, right? But it's more just kind of mitigating the damage as opposed to as opposed to. Uh, actually solving the problem. That's a true disaster. Now one day when we see a tornado, that's when we've... that's that's a true disaster right there. You can't even do anything about a tornado. It just rips through your town and you just have to rebuild and hope you don't die. Okay, speaking of dying, we don't have any food. Do you sell food today? No, right, you're the same guy. Okay, there's no one there. You should be a field of... of... what's over here? Pepper. Okay, so not pepper. Um, why don't you become a potato field? One, two, three. Nope, wrong. There we go. Still have 82 laborers. 
Okay. It's a lot of laborers, but we also don't have a lot of food. What's up? Master trader. Yeah, I'm pretty good at trading. I won't, I won't lie. Okay. And now those vendors should have their job back. I guess they probably just went over to the other, the other area. Okay, now we have tons and tons of uh, children. In fact, we have too many children. We have not enough food. We're going to have to buy food next time it comes in the trader, and we need to keep adding some sources of food, I think. Because we're a little bit behind on that. Let's see how poorly our fishermen are doing so that we can uh, make fun of them, ridicule them, and make them feel like they're bad. Boop. 829 between four people. 824 between four people. Eight people only make <laughs> only make 16 people's worth of food. That's sad. It's very sad. It's nothing compared to the way crops and stuff work. It's just ridiculous. I don't understand. Why do fishing? Why does the fishing even exist? No one knows. I sure don't. I'm gonna put a gatherer's hut somewhere. Do we already have one up here? Yeah, we do. I'm gonna put one up here because why not? Boom. Gatherers hut in. Do we have full gatherers going on? Forester gatherers. Yeah, we got full gatherers at the moment. We can take down builders. Taking the builders down to four. Alright. Moving on to... I guess we could use more hunting cabins if we wanted to use this wilderness area up here, right? could put another hunting cabin right here and it doesn't seem to it doesn't seem to like break it doesn't seem to break their uh, production really it seems like you can actually have two hunting cabins next to each other and that's okay oh my god do we have no food oh my god where's the trader with the food it's for once I need the food please please oh god please <laughs> We have no coal either. That's ridiculous. Mm, for once we need the food from the trader, and now they're not coming. Of course, that's how this game works. Okay. What? Oh, hello, phone. Excuse me, I'm recording. Thank you, though, phone. Okay, let's do... Let's do some food right here, shall we? 15 by 10 crop field right there. Let's try to put some food put some food back in there. Um, let's put that little orchard we were talking about in. Okay, phone. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay, let's make this one. What's this? Chestnuts. Is there anyone closer? No. Okay. So let's make this one plums. I like plums. Add a farmer for that. Boom. Trader, do you have food? Oh, for once you've got food. Thank you. Stop it, phone. Um. Let's see. I would like. Let's see, we've got 2,000 firewood to trade. So, we'll take. Let's see, 2,000 firewood at 3, I'll take 2,000 berries, and I'll take 2,000 chestnuts, and I'll take, let's see, that's berries, chestnuts, and I'll take some, I'll take some potatoes, right? Berries, chestnuts, potatoes. I think potatoes would be good for us. Potatoes. Yeah, potatoes. We'll do potatoes. Take all those. Boom. Trade. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Now that just has to get fed into the system by our vendors. Or our traders. In fact, let's actually increase the traders. So there's three each. They can have six each, and I guess that would be like the epitome of of, of uh, efficiency. But 
I don't really care. I'm just looking for workable right now. Oh, we got some coal back from a trader, I guess. Okay, schoolhouses are full. That's amazing. I cannot believe how many students we have, actually. It's impressive. Um, oh my god, we just don't have any food. Quick, harvest everything and then eat it. And then don't get hungry again for a while, please. <laughs> that would be the easiest solution for me. <laughs> Can't produce any wheat ale because we have to eat all the wheat. That's okay, though. We need to just, we need to just figure it out. Pumpkins. I want this one to be a pumpkin field. And we're not really reducing the number of laborers, are we? No, we're not. Thank God. Okay. More food. More crops. More crops. I'm gonna need more crops. We can... Can we fit anything back here? Um, we can fit a 15 by 6, but that's not really... doesn't seem worth it. We can fit one right here, I believe. I believe. 11 by 15? No, 14. 11 by 14. There we go. Okay. That's that squash field is working this year. God, I hope this works. I hope we don't starve. We took in so many people. We didn't add nearly enough food, I guess. We have 387 adults, though, which is pretty amazing. We, we have over 100 laborers right now. That's just incredible. How far do these reach? Right around there. Okay, that means that I don't mind putting in a field nearby. Although, I think I'll just put an orchard in nearby. Or a pasture. There's no pasture in this part of town. Then again, do I really want one? So let's do an orchard. How large can it be? 15 by 15? What? How is that too large? Oh, it's not. Okay. Nothing? Nothing? <laughs> I want it to line up with the road over here. Oh, what? Okay. There. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, who? This one? That's fine. Cut them all down. Switch over to pears. Beautiful. Perfect. Easy. Simple. Well, okay. So, I was so excited. I missed that time. So, it's about that time. I might as well slow down to two. No, five. It's about that time. So, uh, hopefully we can get our food production back up to snuff for the amount of people we have. I know we just tore down those, uh, all those areas, but, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out now. We've got this, we've got this. Um, yeah. So, until next time, I'll try to stay well as long as you do, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!